Have you ever asked yourself what's the difference between calling 111 or 999? Hi again everyone, it's Dr. Khaled, one of the doctors in the UK today. I'm going to speak to you about the difference between calling either 111 or 999 in case of an emergency situation. So, in a nutshell, 999 is in the case of life-threatening situation. For example, if a patient has got chest pain or breathlessness, short of breath, severe short of breath, or if they do get any sign of syncope, for example, or um, dizziness or whatever, so at that time, they should speak to 999 or if the bystander or if someone who is actually witnessing what's happening should call 999 on their behalf so that's 999 life-threatening situation remember that however 111 is still urgent situation but at the same time is not a life-threatening situation for example if someone presents with sore throat so and they are not sure what to do at that time so they should speak to 111 and 111 well, thankfully, so I impose them to the correct services. For example, they might um, think that they should be seen by the GP or they might be seen uh, in the walking center or even in the A&E department. And 111 also, you can communicate with them via the website as well. It's not only a telephone call that you can do, so you can also um, communicate with them, go through the website and then um, you can just follow the instructions. It's a very, very easy and um, guided way to do that. So this is the difference between 999 and 111. So 999, life-threatening situation. 111 is an urgent situation. However, it's not as urgent as when you call 999. So thanks very much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And please, if you do like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to receive all of the new videos on time. Thank you. Bye.